Alright, so here's the deal. Welcome to another edition of Randall's Rants. Obviously, this one's going to be about the whole thing with Donald Trump and his whole grabber by the pussy commentary. And I've been sort of contemplating what I was going to say in this video, but um, all I got to say is, you know, this is, sad to say, typical Trump. I mean, here's a guy who thought it'd be funny to, you know, uh, insult you know, John McCain by saying, oh, you were a POW, you're not a real war hero because you got captured. Here's a guy who back in his USFL days in the 80s used the fact that a man had terminal cancer against him. Donald Trump was also a guy, obviously, who decided that he was going to take on the family of, uh, you know, whose son received a Purple Heart who died in, you know, action to serve this country. And what's astounding me, really, is that people are surprised about some of the stuff that comes out of Donald Trump's mouth. I mean, here's a guy who said that uh, he'd be willing to pay the legal fees of anybody who attacked a protester in his rallies. He's a guy who has said that he'd, you know, ignore the Geneva Convention. You know, so, so let's not act like this is something shocking that Donald Trump said, because this is who Donald Trump is is okay he's a guy who's only out for himself he's a guy who thinks he owns the world his shit don't stink he can say whatever he wants that is just who donald trump is and what's amazing to me is that there are people that are still supporting this guy you know is there so much hatred towards hillary that we would take a billionaire who thinks women are property you know let's look at his comments about the woman who was miss america miss universe or whatever uh, pageant that Trump runs saying, oh, well, she got fat. Well, Donald Trump, you got old, you look like a wrinkly dick, which is kind of ironic because you truly are a wrinkly dick. Um, you know, so, it, it, like I said, it just boggles my mind that people are shocked that Trump says any of the stuff that he does. And you know what? He knew that Mike was live. I mean, come on. Trump is such a micromanager and he's obviously displayed so much paranoia that, yeah, he would assume that Mike was live. Um, if you ever watched the um, 30 for 30 special ESPN did a few years ago, Small Potatoes Who Killed the USFL, which Trump has basically gone ahead and said, you know, oh, you know, uh, he thought he was misrepresented in that, but you know, anybody who knows the league knows he wasn't. But that being said, there was actually a segment in there where he's talking about camera placement. Am I talking to this camera? Am I talking to this camera? You know, he knew the mic was live. So, you know, it was just his bravado. Trump has to come off as the big guy, the big man on campus, the guy who can score with any woman that walks into the room. So am I shocked about his whole grab her by the pussy comment? No, because sadly, as we've seen, that is typical Trump. So I'm not here to dissuade anybody from voting for him. If this is the type of guy who you want as president, guy who might, you know, make googly eyes. I don't know if anybody still uses that term. You know, at the life of a foreign leader, man, you know what? Go for it. You know, seriously. You know, I think this is just the most bizarre presidential election this country's ever seen. And I really can't see why anybody would have ever voted for Trump in the first place. And I really can't, after these comments, see why anybody would vote for him now. And while I'm thinking about it, the whole Bill Clinton comparison really is not apt. And if you're going to try to make that comparison, I'm going to sort of destroy that right now. Bill Clinton just couldn't keep it in his pants. He had affairs. Trump is a guy who said that if his daughter wasn't his daughter, he'd date her. I don't remember Bill Clinton ever making those comments about Chelsea. Donald Trump's a guy who, you know, is made to grab her by the pussy comment. Bill Clinton got blown by a government clerk. Kind of a drop-off. But uh, that being said, thanks for tuning in to a, another edition of The Rant. I appreciate all your viewership, and you're going to be part of what helps this whole thing grow. Until next time, my friends.
Hashtag fuck Donald Trump.